Up tomorrow, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Partnership Center, and Buffalo Public Schools all joining forces to host a Day of Hope and Healing event. It will include free health services, giveaways, and a whole lot more. It's going to happen at the Stanley Mikowski Community School number 99 on Jefferson Avenue in Buffalo. The goal is to help a community still healing from the horrific attack on May 14th at the Tops on Jefferson. And joining us live now is the director of the Partnership Center, Reverend Q English. Reverend, thanks so much for coming in. It's good to see you. I know that you're, it's a busy time for you right now. There's Very a lot busy, going on. A lot going on. So we heard about this event, um, and as you go through, you were talking about the list of all the, the dignitaries who are gonna be here and all the things that are scheduled. It's a big event. What should people who are just hearing about this know about what's gonna happen tomorrow? Well, one thing is, it's first come, first serve. We got a mm. 10 a.m. start time. We have food to be able to accommodate 500 families for up to one to two weeks. Mm. We have over 3,000 book bags for children in elementary and high school. There's gonna be loads of activities from face painting to balloon art and characters walking around for the very reason of bringing hope and healing to Buffalo. How is that process going, as far as you can tell, as you're out in the community, as you're talking to people? Um, there have been a, a number of these events, and I, I think the events you know, bring people together and, and, and also do a lot of good. Yeah, um, yeah. But this is also beyond you know, the, these giveaways and things, um, yeah. a lot of services available to people Absolutely. still coping. Absolutely, and when you think about it, you know, for, for Health and Human Services, we are committed in this regard uh, as it relates to investing over $280 million for our newly launched 988 suicide prevention mm. lifeline um, investing over 300 million dollars that was just announced for youth uh, mental health and so we're very committed to this and it's not a um, short-term fix um, it is an investment and it's going to take time um, because we can't put an expiration date on another man's trauma mm -hmm. and so we have a long way to go but we're committed we're committed our secretary um, the Honorable Javier Becerra is committed in these spaces and when I thought about the fact that the Buffalo schools uh, wanted to part it was the perfect the perfect place to do that to help family so on site we'll have mental health uh, providers we'll have resources in that space We'll have um, uh, ability for children to get vaccinated, even for five and under. We'll have an Ask the Doctor there in person on site. We'll have blood pr uh, uh, pressure test testing. And a lot of times you just gotta bring it to them, right? And connect them uh, with the services that they need. And from there, they can stay connected uh, through the service providers that will be available. Uh, this is, as we mentioned, such a big event. There's there are so many moving parts to it, yes, right? And so many different things. What, what is it like trying to get all of these stakeholders and all these people together and organize something but like this? I'm telling you. How, many, how long have you been working on it? Oh, it's been a while, but you know, it was the stakeholders that came to the table. It was mm. Mega Care United, Bishop T.D. Jakes. It was Christian Cultural Center, um, A.R. Bernard, who just said, you know, we want to help in Buffalo. What does that look like? Well. And so, and then we have the, uh, the they're called the, the, Black billionaires, uh, Black billion initiative that's here right in Buffalo. So you have a <laughs> lot of people that are interested in joining forces because it is going to take all of us working together uh, to move us not into uh, w uh, the old normal, but what does the new normal look like? Mm -hmm. Right? What does thriving in this space of mental health, what does that look like and how do we work together to assure that in this community? Finally, I've got a little less than a minute left um, for people who are watching this um, and who may want to come out tomorrow. I mean, what, what is your pitch? Like, hey, it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. There's a lot of stuff going on, but come and Only stop by. Buffalo has weather like this, okay? I know. You're I fortunate. I love <laughs> this weather. Um, but yeah, so you're going to come out. The governor will be there. The mayor is going to be there. Your council president is going to be there and others. And it's, ex it's an extraordinary time of coming together. But at the same time, we have our pastors that are going to be there. That we're going to have a balloon release, remembering those that have gone before us. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to move right into the, the, the day of hope and healing through distribution and um, just expressing love. And so that's 10 a.m. Come on time because it's first come, first serve. So we want to see you show up. Absolutely. I'm, I'm pulling this back up just to remind everybody it's at the Stanley Mikowski Community School number 99 yes. on Jefferson Avenue in Buffalo starting at 10 o'clock. And don't come late because you might miss out. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Dr. English, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks Thank for you, coming. Michael. I really great appreciate it.